Alright, so today, Diecast Model Unboxing. This is from DiecastModels.co. Um, they're having their daily deal sales right now. Um, some ridiculously awesome deals. Um, honestly couldn't tell you how they're staying in business. However, um, a lot of you have probably uh, seen what these models are already. Because I know a lot of people who ordered them, especially on Facebook. But, um, anyways... You guys see all that? I'm probably going to have to shoot this in two parts because I have to go to work here shortly. But the UPS truck just got here, so... Alright. Okay, the first one, this is a model I've been wanting just about forever. It is the Vermeer TG7000 Tub Grinder. We'll at least get it out of this cardboard sleeve, and then I'll probably open it up in a separate clip. Yeah, that's awesome. So I got this from DieCastModels.co for $135. It retails for about $270, so it was half off. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. It's a real nice box. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. We'll open this up in a separate video later tonight. And then, right here, this is the model that came with it for free. This is an Oshkosh mixer. And I'm not sure which one this is, but it's like a blue and a white. It's that one. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but it looked pretty cool from the picture. So, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up right now. So, product, product, uh... Guide and book. It's just the top or the bottom. bottom. Cool. All right, so that should just do it right there. Alrighty, this is another model I've been wanting for a really long time, but I've never bought just because of the price of it. But since I could get it for free, I'm definitely was going to take advantage of that. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, but it looks really nice. The detail is second to none on this. Some really good detail on that. I don't know if it'll focus in on that, but... Man, it looks great like that, but I'm just going to set it right back in the box for right now. Maybe. There we go. So I'm just going to keep that in there for right now. And then I'm going to get this one opened up real fast. Alrighty. So, we got product information on the TG7000. This is the top of the bottom. And that one doesn't say. I'm assuming this one's at top, though. This is one of those models that if it wasn't on sale, I probably would not have bought it. But given the price it was on sale for, I uh, really didn't hesitate picking it up. So I am really excited about this one. 
Let's see if I got all that tape now. Okay. That's amazing right there. So I'm not even going to take this out right now. But there it is. Um, yeah, I might add a clip of this later tonight once I take it all out. But uh, it's part of the unboxing. And then I'll do reviews of them and all that. So Okay. So the first part of this video was rather rushed. Uh, I had to get to work, but, uh, so we're going to actually finish unboxing them now. So this is the Oshkosh mixer. And I'm just going to separate off this. The information booklet. want to come out. There we go. So, information booklet. A good looking truck. So, that's that. Now I'm actually going to get this opened up, which I stopped opening in the first part of the video. So, here's the actual truck. Plastic piece thing to keep everything. I'll keep the drum from spinning. Drum spins really nice. Uh, I gotta cut that off. Um, this one, I think they have a version with a drop axle in the back. I'm not positive. However, this engine hood should open up. My blade is so dull. I need to fix it. Okay. Yeah, and then that opens up in the back. Show the engine, that's pretty cool. Not sure if that's die cast or plastic. That seems like it's almost plastic on the back. Not sure, but regardless. Oh, and it's spring loaded, that's pretty cool. So it is meant to stay open, that's, that's neat. And it snaps in place real nice, that's pretty cool. Pretty neat, so I really like this, this is definitely a nice model. Like I said, it's one I probably would not have paid the full retail for buying it individually, but since I could get it for free, I am uh, rather happy about that, so. Did I miss anything in the box? These are probably going to be mares or something. Oh, no, these are additional concrete shoots. And these are mares. So that's all that's in the box, and I'll install those later. So I'll set that off to the side. And now we'll open up the tub grinder. tape on this, I think. Oh, well. So, an assembly instruction booklet, and I think this is the information booklet on the real machine. I'll put that over there. Little trifold. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think this machine, in reality, has like 950 horsepower. Actually, let's see right here. Um... Hmm. Okay. We'll read through that later. The instruction booklet. I'll be looking at that later. Anyways, let's get it out of the packaging. So, there's a plastic sheet over it. Okay, so we'll 
we'll start with the truck. And this truck is pretty, pretty cool looking. This is really cool. This uh, beats my first gear Mac Granite for sure. Um, wow. That's about all I gotta say about that. That's pretty amazing right there as far as detail on the truck. So, I'm uh, pretty thrilled with that. I'll have to look into buying some trailers now for it. Now let's get to the actual tub grinder. Foam inserts. Alright, it's got a little bit of weight to it, not a whole lot, but is there. I'm guessing those locked down somehow, I would hope. But for the time being, I am just going to put it onto the fifth wheel. Maybe. There we go. So, there you go. That is a nice looking, nice looking set right there. That is pretty cool. And the fact it has the loading crane, if you ask me, is just about the coolest thing ever. This would be a really fun machine to run. Okay, so that's going to wrap up this unboxing. Probably drag this out way longer than I wanted to. But, that's about it. So I'll have reviews up of these at some point. Uh, let me know if there's any reviews you want to see of my collection. And, um, yeah, so this review should be up at some point. Um, and yeah, that's about, that's about it. So, you guys have a good one.